I think I've fallen for you And I don't know why I don't know why You love the summer Hello and welcome back to this week's vlog. Today is Saturday, October 15th and it's actually 4 o'clock right now. Um, I meant to start the vlog earlier today but I completely forgot but I do have footage from today, so I will insert that now. Staring out the window, reaching for a north star, waiting just to wake up from this nightmare where you could be right back in my arms, dancing to the limbo, stuck here in the middle. You tell me that it's simple, but I could paint a thousand different pictures of what is wrong. But if we turn the clocks back a couple dials, we should throw them out. Because time ain't as well, but you fill me up, and I can feel it now. We had a very productive morning and we got a lot of just random stuff done that we needed to get done and we've been putting off and as you saw one of those things was bringing my sewing machine back to the shop unfortunately um i knew i was gonna have to um because last time i got it it started making the noise again and then it stopped and then i wasn't sewing because i finished everything and life was just crazy so i didn't go bring it in and then now I started sewing again for the winter launch and it started making the noise again. I was like, oh, okay, I had to bring it in because my warranty for the machine expires in like two weeks. So I had to bring it in now so we can figure out what to do. And yeah, I'm just worried that Juki is just going to give them another motor. So like the sewing store, another motor to replace it because that's what they did for at first because the motor was broken. So Juki sent them a motor for free because it was under warranty. But then it broke again, so I am not sure what's going on with this machine. If this, like, line of machines is just not good, I have no idea, like, what is happening. But I hope we can get it situated. We can find a permanent solution because my warranty is almost up. So if we don't, then I'm just going to be stuck with a broken machine. And it sucks because I really like this machine other than the problems that I have. But it's like the favorite, my most favorite machine that I sew on. Like it just so, so nicely, except for when it's broken. So <laughs> that's frustrating, but I hope that we can fix that. So that's that. And now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna watch a movie and we're gonna multitask a little bit. So Joseph is actually gonna help me a little bit with the sewing. So I'm trying a new method of sewing all of my stuff this time around. So usually I sew by like patterns. So I'll sew like, four like or five patterns at a time and I'll sew all of the items for those patterns and then I'll start another pattern set but this time I'm actually trying to like batch it completely so literally I ironed everything I ironed everything and drew my pattern on there and like for all patterns and everything and now I want to go through and like sew everything like I'm literally trying to do it full batches. The reason I didn't do that before is because I feel like I have a touch of like ADHD or something and if I did the same thing over and over again I would get distracted but we're gonna try to overpower that because I feel like it's gonna be so much faster if I actually like batch things. I have some stuff like already done um but we're gonna watch a movie and we're gonna work on one of the steps that is involved in the tweet pads and it's gonna be fun because he wants to help. That's so exciting but that's just what we're gonna do. So I'm probably just insert a little time lapse and then later tonight we're actually going out to dinner as well. So 
a busy and fun day. Yeah. These blocks down, miles we can okay, it's dinner time. He helped me. He helped me for a while. I did 10 in one hour. No. No, you did more than that. There's eight. You did 16. 16. <laughs> Thank you. No kissing on the lips in the camera. <laughs> what do you have to say for the people? What did this experience teach you about my business? No one would do it. <laughs> <laughs> like nobody would do it if it was for the money only. Exactly, that's why I don't do it. Don't do it for the money. It's not for the money. Don't do it for the money. That's why, see, that's why I can't hire someone for these TV items because it takes an absurd amount of time. But like, it's, I don't want to jack up the prices for these because otherwise it'd be like $10 per yeah. and I don't want to do that. So that's why I cannot hire someone to help me make at least these items. I mean, it's like calming so I could see like, I would imagine this is what grandmas feel like when they're knitting. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. A sweater or something. Yeah. It's very nice. Yeah. And I just, I like looking at the patterns. Don't you get excited <laughs> whenever you reach a new pattern? You're like, come <laughs> like, on, oh, can we? New pattern unlocked. New pattern unlocked. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cute. Yeah. So, I can see it. Yeah. A labor of love. Labor of love. Okay, time to go get some dinner. We're gonna go get Asian food. Uh, until the sky. That made me incredibly nauseous, horribly nauseous, but that's life. And now it's time to play the game. Did Corum send me the right stuff this month? They hardly ever do. I always have to call. Okay, we got infant syringes. They keep like changing what they look like. I like how these ones come with caps, so. Yay, perfect. And then, let's see if we got the right extensions. One, two, three, four. Oh, these are look different. One. These are correct, they just like look different than normal. But yay. Grip locks. Oh, yay, they actually got it correct. They always send me so much gauze. I have way too much gauze now, but we have a ton of gauze. And then the berry wipes. So they actually sent everything this time. Thank freaking goodness. And I don't have to call them again. And sadly, I thought this, I was so excited because I thought this was going to be my first order, like monthly order with formula in it. But then they denied it. So sadly that did not happen. But if you didn't see my last video, we are actually switching insurance because my dad got a new job. So we're switching insurances and... I'm hoping that one covers formula. Um, the main issue with my previous insurance is that they don't cover formula. Like they're known for not covering formula. So that's that. But we were looking up some of the benefits or what we could view of the benefits yet. Or because we can't view all of the benefits yet. But what we could view, it looks like we'll be able to. But we won't know for sure. So yay for core. I'm actually getting it right this time. <laughs> uh... Hello guys. Greetings. It's, <laughs> it's Sunday. I don't know what we're doing yet today. Uh, we did some cleaning around the house this morning um, and I did some editing, but before we go on our adventure that I don't know what we're going on yet, I need to tell you about this new water bottle. It's epic. Okay, this sounds like it's a sponsorship, but it's <laughs> not. I, I wish it was, I promise you it's not. I found this water bottle on TikTok and then I first showed him because I knew he would like it and then he bought it and then I kept stealing his water bottle because I loved it, so I bought one for myself. Um, I didn't decorate it yet, but I have to. So it's the brand Owala. I got it on Amazon. You can get it, they have a site, and I think you can get some at Target, but I just wanted a white one. 
So I got it off of Amazon and this is slightly larger than the one that you had before. I had before. So this is 24 ounces and it still fits in my backpack. It's just a little bit heavier, but it has this little button that flips up and I prefer drinking out of a straw, but I know some people prefer like gulping it um, or sometimes you prefer both. Well, this has both. So it has, this part is like the straw right here, but then you can also like throw it back and gulp it if you want. But, oh, you, just, <laughs> but you just like sip. And the, the thing that makes the difference for me is that like the flow of the straw is so much smoother and nicer where I feel like I drink more at a time with this, which is really nice. And I drink more water, not enough water yet, but it is more water. So yeah, that's really nice. And then you just close it. And then, like I said, you just like that. And then it also has like a handle. So if you just want to like hold it like this, you know, you're just walking on the town and someone comes up behind you and tries to like nap you, you just hit them. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Um, I love this thing, so. And I feel like it's easier to grip because do you see it has like flatter sides? So it's like, it's easier to grip than like the fully round water bottle, so. Yeah, I will link this in my description. It will be an affiliate link, but I literally make like one penny, so. Ah. It, I don't even, I don't even count those when it comes to income because I make like two cents, so. I just have to let you know that it is an affiliate link though, so yeah. Anyways, <laughs> and this will be in my description. Yeah. Oh, do you want an update on my tube? Not that you care, but it stopped bleeding. So I went to the doctor. I can't remember where I last told you, but I went to the doctor and they gave me pantoprazole because they thought it was an ulcer, um, but they didn't want to do an endoscopy, so they gave me pantoprazole and then to follow up in two weeks. So the pantoprazole actually helped and my stomach stopped bleeding. So yay. Um, and then I went back to the doctor in two weeks. So like in my doctor's office, there's a doctor and a PA and I've been seeing the PA, but then this time I actually saw the doctor. And when I went to go see him and I showed him and explained to him what was happening, he's like, oh, like that's significant. And I was like, I know, but I think there was like miscommunication about what was happening. Uh, when like I was telling the PA or when I went to the ER, when I was telling the ER, I think there was miscommunication about them talking to him and he didn't realize what was actually going on. So he was actually like, oh, you know, that's not good. And I'm like, yeah, I know. That's what I've been trying to explain to y'all. But yeah, anyways, the pantoprazole ended up helping. So it's fine because I didn't have to do anything, which is really nice other than just take another pill on a day. So there's that. Um, but I'm going to follow up with him in another four weeks. Um, and he thinks it's an ulcer between like my abdominal wall and the balloon. So like the balloon is causing like the ulcer against my abdominal wall. Um, but he said to continue with the pantoprazole another four weeks and then I'm gonna see him again in four weeks. But he said, if anything happens, like if I start bleeding again, to call him and we'll go for an endoscopy ASAP. So, yep. Yeah. But overall, thank goodness the pantoprazole ended up helping so I didn't have to like do anything significant. And I didn't bleed out. Yay! <laughs> okay, I put on pants. I had different pants on this morning, but then I got to stain on them somehow. So changing into pants. Um, I'm wearing my sloth socks today. So cute, my sloth pumpkin socks. And we're off to Bed Bath & Beyond because we're trying to figure out an organization system for my tubi tape. Not my personal tubi tape, but for the ones that are going to be for my business. Um, because I eventually want to get Tubi Tape back up in my shop. I'm having some issues with the printer again, so <laughs> we're technically back where we started uh, a couple vlogs ago where my printer was broken and my sewing machine was broken, so <laughs> great. Um, but anyways, my printer is broken, so I do not have Tubi Tape right now, but eventually I do want to get Tubi Tape up again, so I'm planning for that, but I have to wait for a new printer to come, whatever. <laughs> And we're finding it, we're trying to figure out an organization system to have stock of Tubi Tape because before I just have them in a large stack, which isn't convenient because then I have to dig through the stack to find the Tubi Tape that someone ordered. So we're trying to figure out a system and we think we have a system in mind of how we want it organized. We just have not been able to find the right 
materials. So we're going to Bed Bath & Beyond to try to find that. So Bed Bath & Beyond was a fail. We found one, but it was literally $18 for one bin. And that is kind of absurd. So we said no. And we're gonna go to Walmart. But now we're gonna go get some lunch and we're going to Panera and I'm gonna get some soup. And I don't know what he's gonna get. Something good. Something good. <laughs> that was a fail. We did not find any bins. Um, we ordered like four more on Amazon to try. And we're gonna hope for the best. It's the hard thing is because when you buy these bins, we buy them with the dimensions, like the correct dimensions, but then the dimensions are smaller on the inside. So like I need something six inches long for to fit the tubi tape. So like we're like, oh, let's buy bins that are six inches long, but they're not actually six inches. They're like five and like a quarter inch. So we're struggling to find bins that fit, but, and we want them to be stackable to save space. It's a lot harder than we expected, but we ordered like four more bins to try and then we'll just return the ones that don't work. But let's hope next week we can get an organization system going hello guys so we're actually going to a wedding in a couple weeks and i don't have a dress so we ordered a bunch from amazon because we've tried looking in person before and we can never find dresses so we got we got we ordered four and two of them came so here's the first one show them Aww. i actually really like it it's so cute and we're going to a, a wedding somewhere cold so I also have a jacket don't worry but I was looking for more like full length not the dogs <laughs> no <laughs> likes I love it okay dress number two okay guys this is dress number two I think I like the other one better I really like the color of this one and like the design, I just don't think this one fits me as well as the other one. And that's just because I don't got anything going on in the upper half of me. Oh my. What? So like it just doesn't, I don't fill out this section up here. just looks like it's like drowning me. So yeah, but I still think it's cute. Now we just have to wait for the other two to come in to see which one I like the best. Oh yeah, so yesterday when we went to Plato's, I actually found this jacket, which is perfect because we are literally going to the wedding and you don't find jackets like this here while well, thrifting usually because it's obviously hot as heck. So we got this little jacket that I'm going to wear to the wedding. How does it look with like a dress? So cute. A little cute? Are you going? Off to the wedding! I need to figure out what shoes I'm wearing too. I don't really have nice shoes, but I'm gonna hope that I have a pair for the wedding. This is gonna be my first time traveling with a feeding tube. Isn't that crazy? Um. Yeah, crazy. I have to, I'm gonna get a doctor's note, but I'm really not packing. I know you can get like a whole separate medical suitcase for like free or something, but we're only gonna be there for three days. And like not even three days, like we're only there for one full day. So we're like we leave Friday, there Saturday, fly out Sunday. So I'm only bringing like seven to nine bottles of formula. So, and the bags are all compact. So it's really not that many supplies. Um, and we're getting a carry on. No, we're getting a check bag anyway. So yeah, very cute. I'm excited. Oh yeah. I just, we just opened something very exciting that will be featured in another vlog later. What are we opening? What are you talking about? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we opened it and it was so exciting. It's only part one of two parts that I got to really expand my business. Actually, cut that last part because that's going to give it away. I'm not going to, I'm going to cut that out. I'm not going to tell you what I just said, but it was just part one of two things that are coming to help me expand my business. You'll find out soon enough. It's coming soon. Coming soon to my channel near you yeah <laughs> oh and he helped me with more tubi stuff he's he's being he's a pro at it now such a pro such a pro hello it's monday morning and i'm just coming on here to end the vlog because i gotta edit this vlog do orders this morning like make them pack them send them out and then we'll get back to sewing for the christmas holiday winter 
launch there's a little bit of everything included in that because i know not everyone celebrates christmas and people celebrate different holidays so i'm including a wide variety of patterns but i'm so excited to start working on that again um so i can get those out for you all but thank you all so much for being here i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to give this video a like and a comment and to subscribe for new videos every saturday and i hope to see you in my next video bye oh.